Even with dealing with abominations, Orion still gets a Metagross equivalent. You better believe it. <laughs> Alright, Route 1. Let's see what we run into in here. Hi, I work at a Mart, so please visit us. Have a, have, that's supposed to be a potion. <laughs> gets abominations, still gets his beep Metagross. Uh-huh. Hey, listen, I'm the Metagross man. Listen, just be, just, just hope we, don't, I don't run into one in here. Persian lampant. That's uh, interesting. Can't catch it yet, but it's interesting. I hope it gets eaten by a shinx. It's not gonna get eaten by a shinx. That is honestly more horrifying than it has any business being. <laughs> Ek Vesta. That's all our Vesta. I know, I just can't do anything with it yet. <laughs> yep, Volcarona Farm Spot, what say you? You're a trainer? I'm new too. No! I'm not ready for this! Oh boy. Help! I know what this is. That is a Hitmonlee low punny combination. Oh boy. Fortunately, I have that psychic typing. I can't catch this. It belongs to someone else. It, it actually does kind of look like a powerhouse, not gonna lie. Right, there's only two things on this route, so I'm either gonna get snakes or I'm gonna get, um... Cat lamps? I, I don't know what to call it. Okay, I was running... Oh, there's the run button. What the heck? Okay, that makes no sense to me. The walk speed, though. I know. The run speed is infinitely faster. Okay, first things first. Heal the poor guy. Next. Mark it. <laughs> ah, at least we have shoes. Yes. Shoes are good. Shoes... I, I honestly don't understand why they, like, made you wait till, like... After dealing with Brock to get the running shoes. Like, the whole thing made no sense. As part of our special promotion, we're giving out free DNA splicers with every parcel delivery. That's not splicers. That's the leaf stone. <laughs> okay, so... I got... I shouldn't have randomized all the items, because now I've got a pair of stones. <laughs> and no DNA splicers to my name. What is this? Vile Plume Kecleon should not exist. Oh, that's right. They have different things depending on the time of day, don't they? Oh, no. All right. Oak, take your parcel. Give me some Pokeballs. I need to go get my own Splicers, because these guys aren't going to do it. Seems to like you. What, you have something for me? Yes, what you asked me to get. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Yes, the GS ball. Oh, and did you get some Splicers while you were there as well? Well, now that you mentioned it, no, I didn't. You didn't? Oh, that's no problem. You can always return to buy some later. Here, I'll give you some po- Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not Pokeballs, Professor Oak. Those are toxic plants. I just got five freaking of Arceus's toxic plates. What am I supposed to do with these? You know what? I'm just going to sell them. All but one. Sure. Also, another thing. What? I forgot to give you your Pokedex before you headed out earlier. <laughs> Rain. Toxic. Literally. And that's why I didn't randomize the key items. I already gave my grandson his before he left. The Pokedex automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. There are now over 175,000 species of Pokemon thanks to the fusions. So I cannot possibly expect you to complete it. I mean, most people don't complete it anyway, but, you know, we don't talk about it. But you should still try to catch as many different species as you can. Now go, your journey to the League starts now. Oh my god, like, five toxic plates. Nobody needs this many. It's almost impressive. Okay, that's one of two. Can we see the other one, please? I know there's two on this route. Oh, that's right. I'm poison immune. You're gonna be real good for things like Koga. I'm detecting a pattern with the the fire types here. That is a Kabutops with a Chandelure. Weird. 
It's definitely a theme at this point. All right, you. A Wakanberry? Wakanda! No. Uh... <laughs> the debugger. Why, why is this a thing? Oh, gee, I wonder. Uh, let's see. Super effective electric attacks. I may have to hold on to that for later. God, you're horrifying. All right. Now the fun begins. Now we get the splicers and the pokeballs and see what... See what hell has in store for us with this one. Hello. Hello, you must be Orion. I received the gift for you. Here you go. Cotton cargo? What is this? Would I like to give a nickname to cotton cargo? I don't know. What is it? A cotton emic cargo? Um. Any ideas, people? I wish they'd let you look at it before you get them. <laughs> Fire fluff. If it's a Nuzlocke, you gotta nickname it. It's not a Nuzlocke. Chief, I don't have that kind of skill level. I am not doing this as a Nuzlocke. But I do still want to nickname it, just for the fun of it. You know what? Rain... I like the one Rain gave. Fire fluff. I just hope it actually is, like, fire fluff. Otherwise, this is gonna be a... Very awkwardly nicknamed Cottony. I'm all, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, bye. Okay, let, let, let's look at Fire Fluff here. Let's see if we actually hit it on the head. We did something. I don't know what we did, but we did something. <laughs> ah, quirky. So you're just gonna stay this way. Oh my god, you're horrifying. <laughs> no, it's not too bad, at least not by comparison. That's it looks that's definitely a Pokemon. I love the different consensus in the chat here. It's like, that doesn't look too bad. That looks horrible. That's that's a Pokemon. All are accurate statements. Oh boy. Alright, what do you got? Uh ground gem, bug gem, and heal ball. Oh yeah. I need to sell. Four p toxic plates. Wow, they sell for 500 a piece. Nice. All right, let's see here. I need uh, early game. We'll start with six. We'll start with eight of these. I guess I don't want to burn it all at once because, like, I don't know what's coming up. Like. The last time, and this is not intended to draw shade at Phoenix, but I haven't done this with him in a while, so I don't remember half of what's going on here. Like, I know I'm playing Fire Red at this point, it's just with fusions. Alright, what do we got? Um, see, the name alone has a very interesting connotation if you think into it far too deeply. Only because we need to fill out the team, we're gonna catch it, but yikes. I'm gonna hold on to that though because a fire type definitely is required because I don't think the mag cargo is gonna do much. A pony wrath is very weak at birth. This Pokemon can. <laughs> ah. <laughs> can we uh, can we get a, a spell check on this contradiction, please? A pony wrath is very weak at birth. Also, pony wrath can swim back and forth across the Pacific Ocean without effort. Um, it's in there somewhere. That's definitely a tentacle. Cling cool. We're gonna grab this one. Fire Fluff wants to learn Ember. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? Because it literally cannot fight. That's a pretty good reason to me. The gear with the red core is rotated at high speed for rapid energy charge. It ensnares the foe. Oh, so first you get poisoned, then you get electrocuted. That's fun. But I like to give it a nickname. All right, what are we calling this one, guys? See, I, I was never good at nicknaming Pokemon in the first place, much less much less now that I have to take these extra considerations into, into factor. 
You know what? Sure, why not? I never, again, I, I never said I was good at this. <laughs> All right, anything new? Pichu coughing, peefing, piffing. Uh, oh shoot, we hit daylight, daylight hours, didn't we? All right, come here, you. I don't know what we're gonna do with you, but come here. <laughs> Uh, you're gonna be one of those, aren't you? Oh, wait a minute. Now I know why I'm having such a hard time. You have Pikachu's catch rate, which is significantly lower than most. Okay, now it's really dead. Nope, I don't have anything else. Okay, first things first. Never mind. Ah! That's... What the heck? Okay, no. We're coming back. I need that. That's a bloody Mew! Okay, we're just gonna get more of these. Now... Oh, wait a minute. That thing had Mew's cry. That means it has Mew's catch rate. Oh, son of a... All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Oh, God. All right. Let's see what we can do. Thunder Wave. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good start. Good start. Son of a bad start. Uh, tackle. I don't want to confuse the thing. Reflect type. Imagine trying to catch a Mew Abra. Don't do that to me, Rain. Oh, my God. I'm just lucky this thing doesn't know teleport. Oh god, now it's me. Which means it has my typing. You know what, that's good. Chip damage. Chip damage, good. <laughs> One more. Nope. Nope. That's it. Alright, cross your fingers here, people. We're going for the Mew. One, two, oh. Yours! We got We got the Muins. The snake species Pokemon. It is definitely a snake species, to be sure. A Muins is said to possess the genes of all Pokemon. This position allows it to quickly respond to an enemy from any direction with a threat when from its with a threat from its upraised. That's it. <laughs> no, because I actually want to try something. I know it's redundant, but what happens if you merge Mew and another Mew? I have never seen that. Now we've got the other one! That is a bloody Mewtwo Skarmory! And it actually looks like a cyborg. Oh, I thought it was dead. Yes, Mewtwo. Now we're gonna see what happens if you merge the two of them together. I'm, or at least I'm gonna try. Because this idea fascinates me. One, two... Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, don't, don't be a pain. Come on, not today. Two. Yes! Oh my gosh. Alright! We're two legendaries in. The genetic bird Pokemon. That is not genetic, I'm sorry. Mew 3? Maybe. A Pokemon that has the body and wings of steel. However, even though the scientific power of humans made its body, they failed to give it a warm heart. Did they make a custom entry for this one? Because that is actually a coherent sentence. Like a coherent statement, and it makes sense. 
I'm gonna make a note of, uh, well, I have a Pokedex entry for it, Scar 2. Would I like to give it a nickname? Nope. Because we're about to completely unfuse them and fuse the other two. I want to see what happens here. Never mind, I have to go back to a PC because I don't have the space for this. Oh dear. Alright, uh, Poke Storage. Organize Fuse. Here we go. Let the mess begin. God, that's horrifying. Alright, starting with you, Unfuse. Oh my god, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be something. I wasn't even looking for the Mewtwo. I didn't even know it was in there. Come here, you. Oh boy. Fuse the Mew with the Mewtwo. They're both custom. All right, guys, I need help here. Which one, left or right? The left one obviously is Mew lead, so it's gonna be more cutesy. And obviously the one on the right is Mewtwo lead, so it's more battle weapon, I suppose is the way to put it. Let, let's, let's try it this way. Do we want cool or cute? Personally, I'm liking how that Mewtwo looks. Plus the leader usually gets most of the base stats. All right, all right. Here we go! Oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I like that they give credit to who made the sprite. Congratulations, your Pokémon were fused into Mewtwo. A Mewtwo is said- Oh my god, this gives me a headache to read. Pressure Synchronize, Lonely Impish. Oh man, Th these both stink. I guess we'll use this one. It just, at least it doesn't lower the attack. Uh, pr 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 pressure. Uh, let's do it. Let's combine the move sets. Why not? Let's see. Psy Wave, Confusion, Disable, Safeguard. All right, well, I run into one dark type and I'm paced, so we're gonna go with... We're gonna remove safeguard. What does this do? User reflects the target's type, making it the same type as the target. That's not really gonna help here. Transform, however, that may help. Because at least then I can scout things ahead. Oh god, I have a fusion. Duplicating fusions. I just realized there's something wrong here. We'll remove Disable for now. I, I think there's only one name I can put for this. <laughs> if y'all got a better idea, I'm open to it. But, like, I'll wait a second. But for now... That... that <laughs> it's literally recalled Mewtwo. And I don't think it was going to change no matter which fusion I did with it. You know what? It's obvious I can rename them later. You're going to be just Mew... Two? This is both horrible and awesome. Uh, let's see. Do I want to mess with anything else? You are firefighting. Do you get a different sprite if I switch your lead? Also, what the heck happened to the music? Oh, right. I need reversers for that. All right. So... Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> where'd, where'd the Ponyta go? Oh, there you are. Hmm. Ponyta, Skarmory, Steel, Fire. Or maybe Flying Fire. <laughs> Early Moltres. Um, let's look at what I have. Steel Psychic. Oh, you're Grass Rock, so you're not even a Fire type. Steel poison. That's that's a contradiction. And and then just frog. <laughs> Remove yourself from the party, frog. Um, you know what? What happens if I do this? None of them are custom, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's see what happens here. Again, no, none of. The, I, I've learned the identifier. If it's green like that, it's custom. Oh boy. 
Uh, hmm. No. Stop the fusion. Uh, the point of order is I want that Skarmory. Skarmory can be like a notorious pain in the rear. Question is, what do I do with him? I'm not infusing the starter. We're, alpha is going to be Alpha, like, until the end of days. Alpha's going to be Alpha. You're a gift, so I think you're kind of stuck. We're not... We're, we are never unfusing you. Like, you... And you're going to stay in this party. Like, I don't care that you're the one monotype in the entire freaking game. I know that's over-exaggeration. Just go with it. <clears throat> um... Huh. No, you know what? We'll leave. We'll leave Skarmory as a blank slate. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe something will come along that gives you a particular edge. All right, let's move on because we're only an hour into this and we haven't even gotten into Viridian Force yet. <laughs>